Okay, so here's the 2D problem. A 0 0.90 kilogram falcon is diving at 28 meters per second at a downward angle of 35. It catches a 3.25 kilogram dove from behind in midair. What is their combined velocity after the impact if the, I think this meant dove, initial velocity was seven meters per second directed horizontally, okay? Note that this is a unit vector, just basically means in that direction, okay? So don't worry about that too much, okay? And this I hat, remember, just means in the X direction, okay? All right, so I'm going to call this one B for bird because falcon and final is kind of confusing, okay? Uh, 0.9 kilograms, and this guy is 0.325 kilograms, okay? So I'm going to have my before and after pictures. And initially, I have the bird going this way and the dove going this way, okay? And I'm just going to set down and to the right as positive because that will keep everything positive, right? Because I assume these guys are going to go off somewhere in the fourth or in the fourth quadrant, right? Okay, so here they are again, and they're going to be going some random direction and some random speed after, okay? All right, so since they're going to catch and stick together, this is going to be inelastic, all right, which is going to make this a little easier. Um, he is going to have VBX and VBY, and that's just going to be VDX. OK, and then afterwards, they'll just have uh, let's just call it VX and VY. Right. We have leave off the subscript because they're both together. OK. All right. So I'm going to set up two um, conservation of momentum equations. OK, so P naught equals PF in the X. OK, and P naught equals PF in the Y. OK, so initially in the X, we're going to have mass of the bird, V of the bird X plus mass of the dove, V of the dove X, equals their combined masses times VX, which is going to be the final. Okay, um, so 0.9. Uh, okay, and then this, right, if this is 28 meters per second and this horizontal here is 35, this is going to be 28 cos 35, and this is going to be 28 sine 35. Okay. All right. Let me just get those numbers because I don't want to write all that stuff because I'm feeling lazy. Okay. So I have cosine, oops, 35 cosine times 28. Okay. So this is going to be 22.9. Okay. And then sine times 28. This one's going to be 16.1. Okay. All right. So this is going to be 22.9 plus the mass of the dove times the velocity of the dove is seven. Okay. And then their combined mass, right, is both of them together because they're stuck together. 1.225 VX. Okay. All right. So let's just get all these numbers out of the way. 22.9. Okay, 20.61 plus 0.325 times 7, 2.275, okay, plus 20.61, and then divided by the mass, Vx is going to be 18.7 meters per second, okay? So that's in the x direction. So that's this one, 18.7, okay? All right, so now let's do kind of the same thing in the Y, okay? Um, so initially in the Y, I have MBVBY, and that's it, right? Because the, the dove is not moving in the Y at all. Okay, and then after, I have their combined masses times VY, okay? So 0.9 times 16.1 was the Y, 1.225 VY. 8.9 times 16.1 divided by 1.225. <clears throat> so the y direction velocity is going to be 11.8. Okay, right? And that's also positive, right? Because it's down, I can see where it's going to be here. Okay, all right. So then it probably asks for what is their combined velocity? Okay, all right. So if I have this way 18.7 and this way 11.8, right? Their combined is going to be along this vector here. Okay, so Pythagorean theorem, 
be squared, 0.8. Okay, I just have to write all this out because I don't have the good calculator, which I just need to go get it. I know, how many times can I say that? Every time. Okay, 349.69 plus 139.24 equals, okay, square root, V equals 22.1 meters per second, okay, which makes sense, right? It's bigger than any of the other two legs, okay, and it's less than the first guy came in, which would make sense, right? Um, okay, and then if you also want the angle, right, if they ask for that angle, you could do like tangent theta is 11.8 over 18.7, okay, and then you could solve for that angle. Okay, they didn't ask for that, but if they did, you could just solve for that, okay? 